Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and welcome to the weekend. It is a Friday. And I'm very glad it's a Friday because that means uh, two days of uh, really the, the same, same stuff that I do every day here. Try to take over the world. Uh, thank you for joining, everyone. One and all, I do have a haul to get to. Uh, I'm not going to reveal what it is I'm printing tonight. Although I should update the Orabesh uh, just to, to make sure that it's no longer the Death Star. And it's like mystery print. There we go. It's not going to take 96 minutes. If we're updating that, it's going to take 2 hours and 6 minutes. Uh, I don't know if the broadcast is going to last that long, but 2 hours. Let's see here. 126. That's the length. Uh, welcome one and all, Liz, thanks for resubscribing, and Zero Nose RX, good to see you, Edward Ferguson, you as well. Uh, I have to give everybody a couple of YouTube video links, uh, because again, last night's video went up, I want to make sure everyone saw that, uh, that was the anger management video, uh, let's go ahead and get you a link for that, if you've not yet watched the anger management video, there it is. Watch it, like it, comment, it'd be appreciated even a day later. Uh, Bear Von Bunyip, uh, 11 minutes ago, caught it. He says, I've been trying to walk away before I say something I regret and come back a bit more composed and logical rather than setting something based on pure emotion of anger. I struggle with that and acting on emotion as I tend to wear my heart on my sleeve. Thanks again for getting me thinking every day about things that we can avoid. Day by day, mate. Thank you very much, Baron Von Bunyip, for that comment. Uh, none, believe it or not. I, I don't think we have any spam in the new uh, YouTube channel at all, which is just kind of surprising to me. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that works. Uh, of course, the, the brief clip's gone up. Uh, the, uh, the quotes, I've been really happy with the way the co quotes have been unfolding, uh, though I can't expect to see like a major amount of engagement around the, the brief quotes. Um, they're just kind of fun to do. I haven't really settled on a place to do them. Like, I've, lately I've just been, like, stand, sitting here in the chair, although I may stand up over there because then it's a nice red background, you know, something that people are used to behind me. Uh, your videos show up in my feed all the time now, so I'm pretty sure I liked and commented on them today. Oh, thank you, Dark Toilet. Very helpful. Uh, I'm not uploading a, 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 a Star Wars radar clip every day. I don't pay as much attention to it, but I did. Like, if it's a good Star Wars haul, I, I probably will. Today, yeah, they may be worth clipping out and doing as a, a, a different video uh, on Star Wars Radar. I mean, again, I, the thing is, it just, it's a lot of effort for not a lot of return. And that that was honestly my number one concern about doing a new YouTube channel. But the, the feedback I've been getting has been great. It's been consistent. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, one effort or another will, you know, springboard, one, you know, one, one thing to the next. So uh, let's go ahead and flip back to the uh, Prime view, not the Prime directive, if you happen to be a fan of Star Trek. Uh, this is what was printed last night. Uh, fly into the danger zone. Down, down. Fly into... There we go. I tilted it. It is a jet fighter, and it, it was a... It, it, there we go. That's a better view. Uh, print in place. And the wings kind of splay out a tiny bit. Uh, it turned out really well. So you can see the wings go like, not that, not that far, but you know, it's like zhoom, psh, zhoom, psh, flying around. Jedi was not impressed. She, like me, uh, not much of a vehicle person. So it is what it is. I mean, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll print a little jet. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll hold on to it in, 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 in somewhere. You know, put it somewhere. I mean it. I don't really have a general 3D printed area. Most of the stuff is reserved for the Star Wars. <laughs> um, but possibly giving it to a, a, a kid that we know, he may get a kick out of it. Paceless gifted a Haze 31 a subscription. Paceless gifted a tier 1 sub to a Haze 31. They have given 189 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, a hey, to, uh, thank you to Liz for a Haze. Not a Haze, a Haze. Don't you love computer stuff when it tries to, you know, translate for you? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and clip this out. I think I made a mistake, but it may be a happy mistake. I, I may have screwed something up, but I don't really know. I, I may have ordered one box twice. 
that's not probably going to be a problem because it is a potential duplicate box of something that I want. I will get to that in a moment. Let me go ahead and first begin with the new acquisition. Uh, this was one of those comics I didn't realize existed until I went searching for it and then found this, this to be something that wasn't a part of a series that I know of, even though it's a part of the arc that spans uh, different Marvel comics right now, War of the Bounty Hunters, Forlom and Zuckus won. So I don't know if this is a one-shot. Uh, I, I didn't get word whether or not this is a one-shot. The way that I'm currently managing my comics, it's not quite straightforward. But I am a fan of, as I grew up, uh, Forlom and Zuckus, but it's actually Forlom and Zuckus, in case you were wondering. So there, there is a difference. So let me make sure I'm holding up just right so you're not getting any wacky reflections in the screen grabs that are happening and posted directly to our Discord chat server. If you've not already joined and you're watching live here on YouTube, uh, you can just type in exclamation mark Discord and you'll be whisked away to the Discord server to join other Star Wars fans and fans in general of the stuff that I like. I uh, found another pet toy. I'm going on a tear. We don't have a pet yet, but I got plenty of toys for the pet that we don't have. This is a Darth Vader ASMR toy in case your dog is into ASMR. There you go. So that's the mic is down there. That's where I was. I was. It looked weird, but you know, it's, I was, it was it was the microphone. Ah, uh, got a Darth. The other day I got the Stormtrooper. So this is nice. It'll go in my Darth collection. I think I'll put it right there. Okay. Now I got Star Wars figures, and these are Star Wars figures I was talking about the other day. Not realizing whether or not I had one that was open. I got another one just in case, and I feel like I probably overspent on these, uh, but uh, it's always good to have a, a couple of extras with the collection. A First Order Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. These again are part of the uh, the Toy Box uh, series as uh, created by or driven by Disney or specifically the Disney store. They are exclusives. They're very much like the, uh, uh, the old Toy Box game that uh, was a part of Disney and Inf the Infinity game. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, it's been so long. I played it like once or twice. Uh, and they, they were these figures or figurines were on these discs. You can find them thrifting every so often. But then they made they basically re re redid them as full on figures. And I think they did a pretty good job. Unfortunately, we also have the um, the series uh, Galaxy of Adventures, which to me are they're very, very, very similar, very difficult to tell them apart. The only thing that I can tell you with the toy box uh, figures is that their body parts are slightly exaggerated. So big feet, big arms, big head. Uh, and you know, you can see like the Stormtrooper legs here, top part really thin, but you know, the arms might be a little bigger or seem to be a bit thicker in spots. Uh, but it's, it's a nice uh, design. It's a nice balance uh, with the uh, those particular figures. So I'm gonna put those there. Now, I've also finally got the four of four gaming greats I got three of them because I'm going to open one and, and make sure I have one on backup because these, these things will not be around forever. I doubt they're going to go through a reissue. And uh, this is the one I'm going to open. This is a gaming great battle droid. And the great thing a bit about this is you can't have enough battle droids. And it's sad because I don't know if I'm ever going to see these uh, in a store around me because any, any store that would normally pick up this stuff uh, is now either moved or out of business which sucks. So I have to pretty much rely on the internet to get me the collectibles that I want to get. Uh, certainly vintage, uh, you know, it, you can still find that stuff, but but absolutely modern. Um, so these are the four. I've shown you all of them now. This is the Heavy Battle Droid from Battlefront 2, a game that I played ever so briefly. Again, see, this is the kind of stuff, I mean, you just, if I see a Battle Droid, I usually grab it. Like, even on card, like an old Power of the Force series, uh, Episode 1, uh, I absolutely grab those. Because they're still fun. The problem, the big, big problem with the Battle Droids, and I don't know if they fixed this problem uh, with these newer ones, I'd be shocked if they did, uh, is specifically that the, uh, 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 the legs bend. They get warped very easily. The arms and legs, because they're so thin, they get warped. 
And so, uh, this is the battle droid. Hang on, let me give it a weapon. It comes with a rifle, and, uh, through the, the weapon that, uh, the battle droid usually came with. Man, this plastic is really malleable. This is, good. This is gonna bend all over the place. Alright, there we go. Uh, roger, roger. Super articulated, right? Because it is a, uh, uh, vintage collection figure. Uh, we got an Aziz light. Fair enough. I will play that, or will give me the light color, and I will do that in just a second. Uh, this, is it in focus? Let me see here. Is it getting in focus? Is it too thin? There we go. I have to hold it just like that. You can tell it was whether or not it was in focus. Uh, but it's a great design, great color, uh, very similar sculpt, if not the same. Uh, I, I, I grab battle droids when I can, even with very warped legs. Well, within reason. There's probably a good way. I could probably model some kind of 3D, like, block to stand the figure, like, in between the block. And then that way it could unwarp the, uh, the, the legs. I should probably, uh, uh zero... Z someone's got a question. Zeronius? Zero is Zeronus? I don't know how to say that. We're going, what, what color are we going for the Aziz? Orange. All right. Uh, hang on. That one, okay. I'm going to need to recharge these soon. Orange, 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 orange. Orange, you glad you chose orange? All right, what was the question? Did I miss the question? Uh, do I buy all figures in double? Uh, yes, Z Zeronos, I do tend to uh, with the modern stuff. Not always. If I look at it and think, oh man, I, I really want to play with that. I really want to I want, I want to see it out of the package. I want to stand it with the other figures. Then I'll grab more than one. Uh, but some of them, I'm like, yeah, I'm good with just one. Uh, this was a case, uh, or in this particular instance, with this figure, uh, I absolutely wanted more than one. And knowing full well that it would not be around uh, forever, uh, I needed to uh, make sure I grabbed extra. Meaning, with the gaming greats, I'd be shocked if they recasted or uh, redid them at any point in the future. Black Series stuff has seemingly been getting archive waves, and the, t the, the, the Vintage Collection has been getting similar types of re-releases, if only because the updated uh, facial scanning. By the way, the uh, uh, Battle Droid came with uh, an extra antenna to swap out. Uh, if you're so inclined, I am not. Uh, I am going to... How, how can I... Can I attach the rifle in any other way? It looks like I could. I see like a somewhat of a notch, but nowhere to notch it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there it is, the figure of the day. Very happy to have it in my little hands. Ugly Moo has just redeemed because they have enough points. A freeze. Dark Toil or Cheer Dex 100. Thank Is it a real much, freeze I, if I, I, I can I, see you breathing? Oh, sorry, I did, I did not mean... In, I, I was breathing. I did not mean to interrupt your, your, your text-to-speech there. Uh, I apologize, but I'm going to make it up to you because I know you're a, a fan of toys as well. I accidentally, and I'm not joking, accidentally, I don't know how this happened, got two boxes of uh, the uh, Wave 7 vintage uh, figures. Uh, I usually order them by the case because, like, you can't... You can't get them uh, easily at retail, uh, it'd be, if only because of distribution issues. Uh, the supply chain is out of whack. So, let's see. I, I think I remember a couple of the figures that are in this particular wave. Uh, I do hold on to the boxes, if only for storage. Uh, we've got some figures. Two, two of each, I believe. All right. Uh, oh, wait. No, I already... I had this wave, didn't I? Is this the boring wave? I think this is the... Is this the boring wave? 
And I got two of the boring wave? Okay. Just saying. Uh, I thought it was the next wave, but apparently they were back ordered, and, and now I'm, I'm guaranteed to have these. I, I maybe doubled up somehow. I don't know how that happened, but apparently it did. Uh, so uh, here's one. A Luke in Hoth. Here is. Show me what you got! I'm in the middle of it. I will, I will, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Emperor's Royal Guard can't have too many of these. Because you can't army build with these. But I thought this was the next wave, but I guess not. Oh boy. Admiral Akbar. Got I've got a few of the Akbars. Admiral Akbar there. I remember seeing these in retail like months and months and months and months ago. And then, last but not least, a Han Solo. Uh, Endor trench coat. These will be opened at some point in the very near future. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other box. So I'm like, I can't really army build with these, but... Uh, the dangers of pre-ordering is sometimes you accidentally... Good. I'm glad you think it's good. I mean, I'll take them. Don't get me wrong. I'll, you know, I, I'll, find a, I'll find a place. I'll find a loving home for these things. Uh, I gotta open them anyway. Because I don't think I have... Uh, I don't think I've open too many of these to make sure I have uh, extras. Uh, but it just kind of surprises me that I got two of the same one, E7763. I'm pretty sure that was the other one that showed up and on the invoice. I'm like, okay, that's odd to me, but I guess, I mean, I can't complain too loudly. I mean, because if you get, you know, more Star Wars figures than you were expecting, that should not be a problem. So yeah, I, I don't know how else to how else to explain how that happened. Just I guess it was just an oversight. Well, I ended up with more Star Wars figures than I was ex expecting. I'm not complaining. Just a little shocked. That's all. What the hell? How did I do that? How did I do that? How did that happen? I swear, I swear, that I only ordered one. I thought this was going to be the Ahsoka wave, but I guess that's wave eight. What are you going to do? Apart from collect Star Wars figures. See, I can't, see, the thing is, I can't get them at retail, so I kind of have to overcompensate. Was the case just the four? Yeah, just those four. Uh, just those four characters. I mean, I could turn them around. The problem is, is that turning them around, I don't know if I'd make... I mean, I might make my money back. But I didn't see them at retail. At all. Uh, you, Linus, and Bardicles all live at the same time? Oh, of course. Jerry? Yeah, Jerry's been going late into the evening. Uh, he said he was hoping to stream Friday, so I'm glad he was feeling better. Uh, I guess he's been having problems with his back again. But I, I understand. Speaking of health problems... Uh, I have been dealing, maybe not with a health problem, but an issue, and specific, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm okay, nothing wrong, but trying to use nutrition to address the problem, and it's something that I was just, I kind of gave up on, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, what, what else I can do, and with, uh, Picking up on the fiber, I picked up some recent, uh, like, caplets that had fiber and chia and flax. Uh, as well as, I think, like, aloe vera or sal aloe, I don't know what it is, some wackadoodle thing. And, uh, I noticed, I'm like, well, you know, something's different. And I, I kind of wondered if it was specifically in relation to inflammation that I was learning about with flaxseed. Flaxseed being able to help with inflammation. And, uh, specifically for, like, men my age and I've been trying to deal with an inflammation issue so uh I, I was like okay this is curious and so I've discovered seemingly that when I add flax the inflammation issue that I've had seems to kind of go away and this is going to sound really weird but I've been specifically looking to um eliminate the inflammation of my prostate 
because I have problems sometimes peeing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's not embarrassing. It's just a thing, right? And so it's like, what the hell's going on? I'm like, well, what's, you know, I've, I, I've, I've gone in, got to check out. Well, the, your prostate's swollen, right? I'm like, well, okay, that's not good. How do you, you know, do I want to be on a drug or, you know, what? And um, what I'm saying is the flaxseed seemingly has alleviated that problem. And if that's the case, I'm basically going to have like, you know, they, they there's no real guideline, like a tablespoon or two of flaxseed a day. Flaxseed has to be crushed. I've tried turmeric. Turmeric doesn't work for me, uh, but in order for turmeric to work for a, a de-inflammation de possibility, you have to have turmeric with black pepper. So you're better off eating curry because that's turmeric and black pepper. But I tried that combo. Number one, it was very hot. Uh, number two, it didn't, it didn't work the way that I was hoping it would work with what I, what I was eating. So um, yeah, I kind of had a sideline it. So yeah, I, I discovered that it's possible that flaxseed help the inflammation of my prostate. So it's it, that was kind of some good news that I delivered to myself. And, you know, I try to eat well, right, and and, and uh, do my best with that. And this this was one of the last. Or one of the standing health issues that I've had that as I get older, you know, it becomes more and more of a concern. It's also been suggested that flaxseed could help with the prostate in general. So if it's helping with the inflammation, that could keep me ahead of other health problems. Uh, be careful with chia seeds. They can expand and get stuck in your urinary... Why would you pee out a chia seed? You don't pee out a flaxseed. Yeah, enzymes. Yeah, the enzymes and... Um, the uh, uh, amino acids uh, are important. The EFAs, it's got omega-3. Um, if, dude, if, if you're if you're eating chia seeds and you're getting stuck in your urinary tract, you are eating them wrong, Krusty. What kind of... I, I don't want to know how you eat in your house. I don't want to know. Oh, by the way, I found a 3D printed taco holder today. We don't eat a lot of tacos, though. Um, it was, but it was pretty cool. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, if we needed that, it could be printed. Smaller particles can go into your bladder. Oh, fair enough. I don't eat a lot of chia seeds. We've had them. Um, but the flax seeds, I'm not too worried about because they're ground basically into a flour. <laughs> not flax chia. Body doesn't break them down all the way. Oh, interesting. Good to know. I, I It's good to know. I have the, the capsules that have the chia in them um, are already pre-ground. They're ground. Like, they're not whole at all. Um, I don't have, I've had Chia before, but I, I don't think I've had any problems of it, them getting stuck anywhere. That would be a little freaky if I peed up. What, what is that black pebble? Why did it come? Your beer helps you go? Nice. Uh, I haven't been, I haven't had, I haven't had a beer really since my birthday. Right around there. So it's been about a month. Uh, uh, I can't say that beer helps me though. Beer, beer does not do the thing for me. Beer's yummy. I love delicious beer. Very dangerous for animals to eat chia. I did not know that. Learn something new every day. Well, I'm happy with the flax. Uh, I, I, if it works, uh, then that's, again, that's a problem solved. I like I like when I run into a problem trying to solve the problem. That's one that's been driving me crazy because, I mean, I deal with it pretty regularly, as you can imagine. Uh, speaking of, I have, to go, I have to hit the restroom now. Uh, so I'm going to let you be entertained. Take a guess as to what I'm... 3D printing right now. I'll be back. I'll be back. Wait and see. Just remember that I have to pee.
Okay, so uh, I am very happy to report that I have just had my third really good P stream for the day. So it it has, it is a working theory, uh, but I I'm I'm happy. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I because I don't know how long it stays in the bloodstream, right? I don't know how long you know when it takes effect. So I may have to like split up. And have a little bit, you know, in the morning, have some at lunch, have some at dinner, which I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with doing that. Um, you know, you don't want to eat too much of anything. Uh, but, wow. Oh, my God. Oh. You have no idea. Diana's like, I was telling Diana, she's like, I have no idea what that feels like. I'm like, you don't want to know. It's not fun. And the prostate's something that all men have to think about, especially the older you get. That's, that's not a joke. That's for real. So anything I can do to to minimize any kind of uh, issues that I might be having, uh, I'm more than happy to, to look into it. Thank you for for, for following Haas00312. You walked in on a very interesting conversation. Uh, it's nice to have a good flow. Edward, you have no idea. Maybe you do have an idea. Uh, Mark H. Uh, peppermint tea? I'm not a fan of peppermint tea. Honestly, I, I even the... Uh, even the mint chocolate tea chino, I wasn't happy with. It was okay. Faceless Chaired X100, TMI with Chris Perillo, Prostates and PP. Prostates and PP, yes. Uh, well, it's important. Men's health, it's very important. This is your PSA. Your P-S-A. Uh, not printing a keyboard, Edward. Nope, not a keyboard. Uh, Chris's stream is better better with his ba in the bathroom than on Twitch. Yeah, seemingly. Although I've been pretty steady tonight. Literally. Both, both, both literally and figuratively. Uh, Mark H. asked what form the flaxseed is in. It, for, for your body to, to take it, it's got to be ground. Uh, so uh, I just I picked up today, even though it's been in the capsules I was talking about, with like the fiber and everything, because there's fiber in it. Um, I, uh, uh, I saw on the shelf Ross had a flaxseed flour and I was like and on the back it's recipes like vegan pancakes or you know and I said oh I texted Diane I was like oh you, maybe you can make some low fat vegan muffins right and um not that I, I don't avoid fat at all I'm just saying like for the muffins you know you don't want to wouldn't want to add any any more calories you might need so um then I got home and I, and I, I I started putting two and two together and I'm like well wait a minute maybe maybe it's the flax that's decreasing the inflammation uh, based upon studies uh, that, that I was, uh, you know, had been researching, I'm like, okay, maybe this is a, a thing. And basically, I said, no, no, this is mine. I'm going to have flaxseed now, sprinkle in, you know, a bit, a, a teaspoon here or there in the beans. It, it melts in fine. You don't even taste it. So, yeah. How to make a, a Boomer Stream 101. Pretty much, the older you get, man, the older, I'm telling you, it wears on you. Man, you know, anybody... See, that's the thing. It plagues me. It's not something I'm going to talk about all the time, but, it's like, it's something that has been a thing, and now that seemingly... Again, it's still a theory based upon studies and research, based upon what I've been experiencing lately a little more, and so now it's it's figuring out how much, in troubleshooting, like, how much is enough uh, for this to take effect. And so I, I'm very happy to report that I hope it's not temporary. Because if it is, I will give you an update. I'll say, yeah, it's... It's... I don't know. But theoretically, like I said, I, I, the more I learned about flaxseed and its impacts on inflammation, um, it, it seems that I would fall within that category. Uh, and my body needs it. Or, I mean, you're all, all your body needs it. Especially because, like, arthritis, right? Inflammation, any kind of inflammation. If you have high blood pressure... Show me what uh, you got! What do I got? I got... Pezliz, a battle droid. Roger, roger. It's a nice battle droid. It's a lovely battle droid. Uh, I am not 3D printing a prostrate, prostate, though. No, Liz, the battle droid is not for you. It's it's a roger, roger. It's not a Liz, Liz, unfortunately. Wow, that that arm is really curved. Boy, they, I wish they strengthened this plastic somewhat, because this is really weak plastic. It's just, it's so, so, so... Not fragile, not brittle, but very malleable. I'll say that. How rude! No, you gotta say it like you gotta say it like uh, Jar Jar Binks. 
you, you can't just say rude. You gotta say how rude. Like Jar Jar Jar. And by the way, thank you for following Thailand08. We got an ad at the chat coming in here. There's the ad at there. Actually, I'm gonna unad unad at that chat and add at this one. Oh man. Ooh, will flaxseed solve my hiccup problem? I don't know. Uh, your dad's first name is Roger, but he goes by his middle name. Oh, I did not know. You learn something new every day. Uh, you think I made Pez Liz cry? Well, if she cries because I opened a Star Wars figure. How? I don't think she's in an emotionally fragile state. I don't think. Baron Von Bunyip, thank you, by the way. Uh, for commenting tonight, uh, right before the stream on the, uh, the, the, the anger management video. Uh, the worst part of getting old, health props. Well, that's the thing! You don't realize it when you're younger. You're like, ah, you can f fart around as, as much as you want, but, like, it catches up. And then you start, you, you gotta start thinking... Baron Von Bunyip shared X100. Thank you for the, uh, cheers, Baron Von Bunyip. Very appreciated. I love the animated GIF, too. I did this. I recorded those little things. That's that's me. That's a dynamic me doing that with a camera. Like, it worked so well. Uh, not 3D printing a bar of soap. That's not what I'm printing. I've printed this before. I, I, I will say that. But I have not printed one in this particular color. <laughs> I didn't make her cry. I probably made her cry before, but, you know, I'm sure I've made everybody cry what I do uh, we've got 15 minutes until the new YouTube video 15 minutes until the new YouTube video Kurt Grosser cheered X100 that's Kurt Grosser thank you very much Kurt paging Kurt Grosser uh, not Beskar it is not Beskar's no can 2499 cheered X100 although I probably do need to reprint the Beskar that I found that that turned out really well because it did I do it in this filament or did I do it in another filament color I did it in a gray it must have been this one but that's not what I'm printing although I, I probably should print another one to give Jedi Paceless cheered X100 I will cry myself to sleep tonight thinking about Roger Roger hype train Ro you're gonna cry yourself to what I I'm getting hot he's gonna freeze me over here in the forest and I'm getting kind of warm so uh Hello, my pitiful friends. I am back. I knew you missed me. Tonight, after... <sighs> yes, I am good. Don't you forget it. Baron Von Bunyip, thank you for the 45 bits. And Pesleys, thank you for the 50 bits to play. Me saying good. Mike 2499 cheered X100. Thank you for the X100. Tonight, after I am finished with this, I am going to <coughs> make a bandage for the, the hole that Pesley's just shot in my calf. That's great. Luckily, I, I've lost all feeling below the belt, so it doesn't matter too much to me. Uh, I've, I've learned to live with it. So, um, I plan on watching Marvel's What If with that cat. And I'm going to eat that cat later, because that cat keeps annoying me with the evil meowing. Not a very nice cat. But speaking of nice cats, Barnacles raided my stream with 320 viewers. Unbelievable, I am so glad you are feeling better today. To stream, Jerry. That's right. I know exactly who you are. Here, raiding in the middle of a, a hype train. Just getting out of the station. I also saw that you were relaxing with your back and Xander, you have a hot tub. So, so wait, does that mean at some point that Barnacles would be a hot tub streamer? Should we vote on that? Barnacles, maybe, yes? Who who would want to watch a Barnacles hot tub stream, yes? 
That would be fun. It's a thing, apparently. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of hot sub streams. I don't go searching for them, though. Uh, I like hot lava streams. Hot lava streams are a ton of fun. Did you all have fun with Jerry tonight? Was he good? Was he good? For a Friday evening. I'm, I'm glad he was able to do it. I catch tweets every so often. Uh, it, it, they don't hit me every time. There's a Ace lot to pay X100. I would want to see Palpatine in the hot tub with Jerry. Would you though? Uh, that is not going to happen. Not enough cheers in the world to make that happen. Uh, but we may be winding down this hype train before leaving the station with about a minute left to go. But we all gave it a valiant attempt for a Friday evening. And so I'm so happy, but I'm also mad because, wait, no, am I glad? I never really figured this out. Uh, am I supposed to be happy? Like, I'm happy when bad things happen, but that's good when bad things happen? How does that work? I never figured out the dark side, apart from liking the dark side. But no, am I supposed to like the dark side? Am I not supposed to like the dark side? I don't know. M. Hogan, thank you for the hundred bits that cheer. And thank you for following and subscribing, Master Key. Must underscore tear underscore to just subscribe. Well, thank you very much. Oh, it looks like we did get pushed over. The limits. Hogan 2499 cheer decks 100. You helped, M. Hogan, with your cheer. Liz coming in with a couple of additional 10 biddies. That's what people, the, the streamers say, thank you for the 10 biddies. I don't know. I don't call them bitties. I call them bits or cheers. You cheer bits, but you can't bit cheers. I think that's a. I mean, you could bite a cheer. You just can't bit it unless you bit a cheer in the past. It is not Voldemort. I am Emperor Perillo Teen. I'm not a teenager. I am the opposite of a teenager. Voldemort. Voldemort. Didn't wear a, a cape and a cowl and a tunic and a robe like this. He was bald and he looked like a snake. Me, I look like a snook. <coughs> My dear boy, I made snook. Because I am snook. And somehow I returned. It's what I do. I, I freak people out. I disappear for a few years, uh, go underground, and then come back at some point and freak everyone out, throw off plot lines. Uh, you have, oh, I have you to thank for suggesting the raid. Well, thank you, Ikafar. Very appreciated. Although Jerry, he's very kind. He always raids me. I know there's so many other Twitch people uh, to, to, be a very, uh, to be supported in that way. Uh, what, what does that say? Bold Amor? Is that, is that the uh, the emote there? Okay, fair enough. Good going, Bruce. Thank you for following Frank Oz. An amazing person, by the way. If not, I mean, not necessarily this Frank Oz, but I mean the Frank Oz. Uh, the, the, the voice and, and the puppeteer from uh, Star Wars. Hawking 2499, cheer Dex 100. Thank you very much, M. Hawken for keeping this Death Star spinning, at least for now. Though we do seem to be spinning in a very low orbit. We may end up crashing into the forest moon of Endor. And no, that does not mean I'm going to moon the camera. It just means that I, I, it was like a, a, a planet, I think. Not the forest moon of Endor, as in the, the, the moon was called Endor. By the way, I read in a children's book last night uh, that Rex replaced a, a character, effectively was retconned, in Return of the Jedi. So it's official, Captain Rex shows up on Endor fighting in Return of the Jedi. Which is amazing. I mean, the way they pulled that off, astounding. But I read it in the book. Though I'm not sure the book counts as canon, I would say it's close enough. I am a store. I'm sorry. I am a clone trooper. Was the book? 
Uh, are, are we going to raid Uranus? That's how I'm going to read that as Guardian Wookiee. Very nice try. So yes, I think it's official. Rex was on Endor. Something that I, I believe pretty much became official for me last night. Uh, Jedi, as I was reading it to her, I had no idea. Chris was in Empire Strikes Back. I have photographic proof. Show me what you got! How the hell do you have photographic proof? I was not in Star Wars. I am Star Wars. Uh, I got this. Here's one thing that I got. A new comic. I believe a one-shot, as they call them. Forlom and Zuckus. Beautiful. Amazing. Astounding. What am I doing in there? Your 3D doing hard work. It is Bruce. Right now, I'm 3D printing. <sighs> can you tell what this is? It is good. It's pretty fun. You can tell by the sides. That kind of gives it away. I knew that was possible. Did you see? Did you, did you get a peek at what that was? No? Yes? Possibly? It's a thing. No? Really? No guess. Even after seeing that side ever so briefly, the dark side. Thank you so much for getting us into the level 2 hype train. We'll give out some Brillo popcorn. Uh, add points to everybody's account. If I type it in right, add points to all. Thank you for being here and participating. You all just got some popcorn. I'm going to go and watch Marvel What If and have some popcorn. Because I deserve it. Alright, you brought us within five minutes of the new YouTube video dropping. The advice video will be public in just about five minutes. We'll get that copy to the clipboard. Give me a second. I need that. I need that. I need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, which, what's this one on? Uh, well, last night's was anger management. So this was last night's. Did I copy that? There's last night's. And that's on the new YouTube channel, the new advice YouTube channel. Uh, tonight's, if you want to get your comment ready, is do, 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 how to move beyond your comfort zone. So this was, this was asked by, who asked this the other day? Someone in our community asked it. Who was it asked this question? Now I can't remember. Guess I'll have to watch the video again. Oh, Nomi3, you asked it. There you go. So it's yours, Nomi3. It's like, I know someone asked it. I just couldn't remember who. Thank you for jogging my memory. So my, my memory isn't what it used to be. And no, I don't think you can take... Um, and I almost said Tylenol. No, you can't take... Uh, um, you can't take flaxseed for that for memory at least that not that i know of um ooh, guess you was you weren't there for it no you may not have been and then this is in our the, my new youtube channel it's dedicated just to advice it's going to be a very slow start it's going to i mean i'm i'm going to try to do it for a year see where it goes if it goes anywhere uh i don't know not going to hold my breath but going to give it a shot <laughs> not holding my breath but like doing it do it Figured might as well. Uh, have I been posting motiv morning motivation to TikTok? I have. I have been doing that. I've been posting morning motivation to TikTok, Facebook stories, and uh, Instagram stories, and uh, Twitter, and YouTube. Because it's a short clip, so it plays well pretty much everywhere. Sorry, my camera's a little off balance. Um, oh, no. Oh, no.
Thank you, Dark Toy Lord. Man. Dark Toy Lord Cheerdex 100. Crusty My son wanted frame. to unfreeze you. Thank you. Your son? Thank you, Dark Toy Lord's son. Thank you. Thank you. It's just frozen. It's like, like Han, frozen in carbonite. Which, by the way, is what I'm printing tonight. Han Solo, frozen in carbonite. 3D printing. You can tell by the look at the bars on the side. That was the giveaway. Dark Toy Lad, yes. That would be a great handle. One minute. One minute until the new YouTube advice video drops. Uno minuto. Sorry. That's that's not the, the Spanish word for minute. I know it's not. Uh, I made up that, that word. Minuto is don't don't go out and, and say that it is. Uh, it's not up yet, is it? It is! How the hell did you get it so quickly, Kurt? Holy cow! I guess it's up. Usually YouTube, like, waits a beat. How the hell? Kurt, how did you even know? How did you know? Okay, the co Comfort Zone video is up and out on YouTube. Please give it a watch if you can. Very appreciated. Kurt must have clicked the bell. Ah, clicking the bell. Oh, sounds like and looks like the notification just went out on Discord. So check that out. If you're not already on Discord, you may want to. Discord, boop. Just like that. Uh, some of the videos that are going to um, be uh, made public uh, are, are in, 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 in given the pattern of traffic, um, I'm not, I, I have a feeling we should probably shoot through them because, you know, uh, the, you know, again, trying to watch traffic and trying to watch patterns, we may be doubling up advice videos uh, as they migrate over from uh, the, the, the old channel. Um, and that's based largely on the amount of views that each one might accrue, uh, because, you know, it, it just depends on who sees them, when they see them, how long they watch, etc. And I just as soon double up on the advice videos early and, and get them out of the way early on in the channel's life. Doing my best to refine, right? Keeping an eye on the time now. Thanks to Krusty. Krusty had a really good suggestion last night. I'm happy. To say that uh, it was only seven or eight minutes long, so not long at all. Uh, my hope is to continue that trend. That's my hope. It's a new hope. So thank you everybody for going over there. I'll be giving shout outs in just a moment. How to move outside your comfort zone. From what you're hearing from YouTubers posting a video every single day makes the algorithm love you more. Well, not really, because I've done that and it doesn't like me. Uh, we are moving the, the, the advice videos over, though, I think, from, from the old channel to the new one. If only so that they're all in one place. Or at least, I think, potentially... I mean, I, I think they'll all be okay in the old channel, or the new channel. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, that way they're all in one spot, right? You could just go and get all my advice in, on one channel, like the life advice on one channel. Not, you know, because searching in my channel is just too much crap. I don't know what I'm going to do with my old channel. I really don't. Apart from continuing to post motivational quotes until I can figure out what the hell I can do. Maybe at some point live video if, if YouTube ever gets its head screwed on straight. But right now I'm really happy with the way Twitch handles live video way more. Um, so there, there's an answer to your question before I even saw it, Ikafar. Uh, I, uh, um, it, no matter what I do in that channel, it just it, it dies on the vine. So that's why I had to launch the new YouTube channel, specific for advice, because that's the kind of content that I, I enjoy doing. It could it could it could last a long time. Um, all right, check comments. Uh, Mark and NC has commented. Thank you again for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, watching in totality. I'm gonna try to make these videos shorter and shorter and shorter, so it should get easier and easier to do. How many times have I told the kids to not touch the thermostat? Stay in the comfort zone. Right. And Liz, if I had never gone out of my comfort zone, I wouldn't have met Chris in Toronto. I decided to stop being shy and put myself out there. At, uh, uh, Buffer Festival weekend. And the rest is history. Thank you, Liz, for the comment on the new video on how to move beyond your comfort zone. Thank you very, very much. Life Day Vlogs. Yeah, that once a year. Thank you for following L 
Sicario, 74. Very appreciated. Thank you very, very, very much. Supremely appreciated. Uh, Kurt Grosser coming in with a comment. You need to learn to step outside of your comfort zone in order to avoid being entangled in an echo chamber. True. That's another good reason. That's an outstanding reason. An outstanding reason. Uh, let me get this here. A second. Oh, crap. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to do this. No. Hopefully that does not count as a, a view. Your channel. Community. Okay, new pull. New one's out. Did it work? Yes. There we go. I don't know if these links are going to get anywhere, but... I'm going to try sharing them on the community tabs. Uh, Daily Pwn says, similar here. Doubt my life would be where it is now. Had I not taken my first plane flight ever gone to Seattle, meet Chris at Gnome Dex. Which Gnome Dex did you come to? Don't don't tell me it was the one that flopped. The Gnome Dex that wasn't a Gnome Dex. Was that the one? God, that was, it was a non-Gnome Dex. It was so... Don't even get me started about that event. The last Gnome Dex was really Gnome Dex 10. That was the last one. I went out on a high note. And I knew it was time to, to wind down. Oh, you're finally watching the Bad Batch. Awesome. It was the flop one. Yeah, the flop one was just so sad. I don't count it. It's not a Gnome Dex. It was not a Gnome Dex. The last Gnome Dex was 10. I had control over it. It was my directive. I did it. And I went out on a high note. I did it my way. So, yeah. The 11 was not really under my direction. Long story. Long story. Was it an O Gnome Dex? It was, it was a Gnome Dex O, as in zero. It was... There were more people on stage than there were in the audience. And the reason why is because it was an embedded event. It was, it was taking place within the uh, event that was largely driven for marketers and, and biz people in Seattle. So me doing a tech event, talking about inspiration and how the web is bringing us closer together... Uh, it didn't fit. That's what Gnome Dex basically evolved into. Like, let's talk about you know things that don't haven't haven't existed yet. Let's talk about how technology is bringing us closer together and transforming lives. So uh, you know, feel good stories, right? Or just pushing the boundaries, pushing the envelope, or trying to at least without failing. Uh, but yeah, Gnome Dex was. Uh, don't hate too much on that one. Christopher Burgess was one of the best Gnome Dex speakers ever. It wasn't a total watch. No, the speakers were great, but the problem was it was just. The thing that it had the chance to survive on, it just didn't. And I'm like, I'm just, I couldn't, I could not bring it. As much as I would love to bring back a Gnome Dex, it means absolutely nothing now. Uh, everyone's kind of moved on, um, you know, and I'm not sure the world would need something like that anymore. Gnome Dex came, Gnome Dex was around before TEDx, and then TEDx happened. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, that's the model. So it was what it was. I'm very glad to have done it. I'm, gl I'm glad to have accrued that experience. Uh, events are very much in my blood. Checking for new comments. Oh, we got a stack here. Practical printing coming in three minutes ago. Thank you for the new comment on the new video. Again, here is the... That's the link to the new video if you've not checked it out and watched it, liked and everything. Uh, practical printing says it's very important to become comfortable uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone. If you can't become comfortable with it, then everything will be uncomfortable when you have to enter someone else's comfort zone. That, that is not your own. So being, being comfortable in being comfortable, being uncomfortable in being comfortable. Uh, do more things more often. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about the yawn. I don't know why. I thought I slept well last night. Maybe not. Dark Toy Lord comes in and says, you just need to try new things. Otherwise, life becomes stagnant. True. I like trying new foods. I mean... I, some people have food comfort zones. Like, I'm never going to eat this. I'm never going to eat that. Do clowns make me uncomfortable? Not so much. Uh, Fix him, Dude comes in. Great thoughts. If I'd stayed in my comfort zone, I never would have joined Twitter or Twitch and met tons of incredible people. Pays to get out of your zone every once in a while. 
those make for good zones that you can tailor to your preference. Uh, Baron Von Bunyip coming in saying, I need to do this way more often. It's a universal constant. See, I'm doing my best to reply to all the comments that are coming in right now. Three more. Edward Ferguson watching the video in totality. I assume everybody. Uh, leaving your comfort zone isn't easy. In fact, it can be downright terrifying at times, and that's okay. It's perfectly normal to feel a little trepidation when you're embarking on a journey that forces you to try new things. So don't freak out or get overwhelmed you feel yourself getting a little scared. It's perfectly normal and all part of the process. What's important is that you don't let that fear hold you back. You must continue to take action in the face of fear. That's what separates winners from losers. Don't let fear control you. Between uh, the keys says, I believe making yourself uncomfortable should always be a career goal. It means you are growing. Great advice. Absolutely. So true. Uh, Matheson Steplock, 46 seconds ago. Sometimes to step out of your comfort zone, you just got to forget about everything and just push forward like the Nike quote. Just do it. And Palpatine. Do it. Get. Thank you so much. Good flow of things. Very appreciated. Uh, I'm not sure what I've got on the queue or in the queue for advice tonight. Let me see here. Did I? Uh, yeah, I got to hold on to some of these things. Well, here, I'm going to do another anonymous Canadian one. Because Anonymous Canadian had another good relationship question. And the, the relationship question I posted on Instagram seemingly did well. Seemingly. And by the way, Ryan Pearson's... I, I retweeted. Uh, he, he had a good one. The Anybody Seen Chris. He had a good one. It is true. I guess I was in The Empire Strikes Back. Don't be afraid to fail. True. You'll never succeed if you're not afraid to fail. You won't know the taste of success. Hey, Seniup, good to see ya. New YouTube videos up. I was getting ready to possibly lay down some uh, new advice. Someone's asking for relationship advice again. Same guy. Um, how do you know when it's time to let go and move on from a relationship you're in? Ah, that hurt. Ow. Knocked my knee. Ow. And my elbow. Cheese and crackers, I'm knocking everything. Okay. Anonymous Canadian asked, how do you know when it's time to let go and move on from the relationship you are in? Gotta think about this. As I, like, bang up everything. Hey, P Pooch. Good to see you, Pooch. New YouTube video is up. Give it a watch, a listen, comment, thumbs up. It's in the new YouTube channel, so views are going to be low. But engagement should be very, very high. The ratio should be solid. Maybe at some point, YouTube will start recommending it to everybody. Maybe. I gotta crack that nut eventually. <clears throat> uh... Boop, boop, boop. Good to see you as well. Just getting ready to lay down tonight's advice. It's going to be relationship stuff again. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a surprise when I posted to Instagram. And I don't know if it was the tags I used or what. Um, because Instagram's kind of touch and go. Like, I've, I've noticed, like, some are higher than others. So I don't know if it's the algorithm. I don't know if it's the tags. I don't know what discovery is, right? Which is the biggest problem. Because I had one... And just went with the hashtag success, but I've used success before and it doesn't rank as well. So I don't know if it's a relationship thing. I don't know if it's any, I don't know how uh, Instagram maneuvers its its algorithm. <clears throat> uh, oh God. Okay. And then I got I, I I have another one. I'm gonna I'm, I'm taking this one down from Avaline. Give me a second. This is an entrepreneurial entrepreneurial one. Avaline French. I'm going to do the, the relationship one because I want to test a hypothesis. I'm all about testing hypotheses. I'm all about... I'm all about is, this, is this 
flaxseed going to help shrink my prostate? Yes. Uh, are you giving me points? Don't give me points. I don't need any points. I, I got like a gazillion points. You need all the points. You keep all the points. You have all the points. Okay. We're going to get inside our danger zone. Dun, dun, dun. My danger zone is behind me because I had beans today. I have beans every day, Pinky. Uh, gonna copy this down to answer. Thank you, Aveline. Sorry I did not reply until now. She's not here, though. Yet. Yet. She is not here. I sound like Palpatine. I don't, I'm not Palpatine, though. I'm not wearing a robe, so it would be impossible for me to be Palpatine. Do, 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 ba, ba, ba. I, that dang song stuck inside my he head. Ah, uh, oops. I need, where's the link to the video? There we go. I need to copy that to the clipboard. Because uh, I'm I'm sharing it on on LinkedIn. I mean I get I mean I can't say I get you know tons of views anywhere. So right now I'm just kind of like trying different things. Like what's gonna stick? What works? What where's the engagement at? It's very much testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. But you look for a moment. You could have sworn you saw Pal. You did see Palpatine. Palpatine did, did come in here during the, 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 well, the completed level one hype train. We got out of the station. Very glad we did. It allows you to search the trends based on hashtag topics. What does? TikTok hashtags? Oh, interesting. Hashtag generator. See, I need this for, like, you. I need this for everything. Most popular TikTok success hashtags. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure. I, 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 I've tried. I'm on TikTok now. Stop! Damn TikTok. Uh, I don't think I can edit videos though. Or can I? Yeah, I can't. I can. I can. I. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm saving that as a com a comment. See, I need Instagram, uh, or uh, I, not Instagram. I need um, I need all the plat something that does that on all the platforms. I've been using Inspiration, but that doesn't doesn't do anything. No, no, anytime I use a hashtag, it just doesn't seem to go anywhere. So I'm sure I'm using all the wrong ones. The DX051 Ghost Machine came back online. I don't even know what that is. Uh, yeah, Pook. Uh, uh, Pook. P Pooch. Yes, here, let me link off my Insta. I'm pretty much only posting the video clips there now. I posted various things in the past, but I'm like, what's going to stick? What can I do every day? What am I already doing? What's not going to be a stress? What's going to, you know, oh, I know Chris, right? What's going to make sense for, for me? And so I'm like, all right, well, I'll just, I'll stick with videos for now. Uh, of course, the full clips are on YouTube. I mean, the, the idea is, yeah, you could watch it on Instagram, but the fuller experience would be on on. That's why I say it's a brief clip from. But if you wanted more, you could you know, you'd watch it on YouTube. Theoretically, that's the the best way I think to to tease what it is that I'm doing. At some point, maybe that won't be as viable. Um, it's not that difficult to do because I got, I want to do it for Twitter anyway, because I want to create native video for these platforms. If I can you, doing it for Facebook is pointless though. It is absolutely pointless because Facebook, it just, it doesn't matter what you do. It's just, it's going to get buried. I mean, I, 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 I was trying like a few different things and ultimately it wasn't, uh, I, I'm not sure if any of it was viable down to, I'm like, well, if I can't upload a video and people see it, then I'm just going to upload the uh or just give them a link to uh to the latest youtube video and maybe people will see it even though i'd be surprised if they see it because that's the way 
Facebook works with their algorithm. They're all, all these algorithms are different. Now, YouTube subscribe. Well, thank you, Pooch. Um, one of the things about YouTube, though, thank you for subscribing. Only subscribe to YouTube if you're going to watch. I'm, I'm, at, I'm saying this because here's why. YouTube has hurt me in the past when people subscribe and then they never watch the videos. When people subscribe, they don't comment, like, you know, whatever, engage. YouTube holds that against me. So I'm telling everybody, you know, in the new YouTube channel, like, thank you. It's great. I appreciate the support. But keep in mind that if you're no longer interested in the videos, it's cool to unsubscribe. I'm the only person that will not get offended if people unsubscribe. I do not get offended. I wish more people would unsubscribe. Uh, flash sale going on. Lego sets, $100 off Millennium Falcon. Um, yeah, sometimes those are marked up. They're not valid. Yeah, YouTube is BS. It is. I, I'm, I much more appreciate live streaming on Twitch. Maybe if YouTube ever gets pulls its head out of its ass, I'd, I'd live stream on, on, on YouTube again for one thing or another. You don't own the XP desktop anymore? Okay. I, I didn't realize that was a thing, but congratulations. Uh... Okay, so now we have staged tonight's Q&A. The advice, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to first do this. Then I'm going to do that. You can't see what's going on. I'm doing this on my own. And then I'm going to turn that off and turn on the stopwatch. Krusty's amazing recommendation. I like that kind of feedback. I'm like, okay, that's good. Okay, not bad. I'm like, ah, I tend to talk. I'm like, well, if I if I know I'm watching the time, I'm going to try to keep these advice videos under 10. I'm going to try. Oh, crap. I forgot something. I, I didn't do... Uh, I didn't do something on today's YouTube short inspirational quote. Uh, content. Oh, I did cracks. Yeah, shorts. I did use sh I did use shorts. Never mind. I did. Never too late. Cracks. Okay. Weird. Um, yeah, shorts have not been great for me, but it's pretty much an all, all, Amish Ace? Okay, Krusty, yeah, we haven't rated Amish Ace in a while. Good, good recommendation, good reco. Uh, okay. Now that I got that out of the way. What am I gonna do? Okay, music, everything's off. How do you know when it is time to let go and move on from the relationship you are in? Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm an expert in being myself. I love sharing my advice, perspectives, experience, thoughts, ideas, everything that's in my head, I'm happy to throw out and into the microphone, into your ears. I appreciate you listening. Thank you for liking, commenting, possibly asking for advice, because I would rather elevate uh, these responses for the people in the community who are asking me directly, rather than just throwing a question out there that might be on my mind or just, uh, you know, giving some kind of general advice. I, uh, I want to do this again. <laughs> Move this over. And take two. Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm an expert in being myself. I love sharing my thoughts, ideas, perspectives advice with everybody i take my experiences and and try to translate them for you because you might possibly be able to learn something and that might believe it or not change the trajectory of your life in the near term or or, or, or the long term uh but keep in mind that uh advice is uh, not one size fits all so you may have to accommodate and contextualize to better uh, work within your life if it happens to be somewhat relevant i don't know everything i just know me 
I have another question asked uh, by a member of the community, and I prefer to answer these questions because you're listening. You're, you're very, very happy to listen. I'm very happy to share uh, with the people who do listen. Anonymous Canadian 85 asks, how do you know when it's time to let go and move on from the relationship you're in? This is nuanced. Uh, there's a lot that I can pack in, but I'm going to try to keep this as concise as I can. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Please bear with me, especially when my knee knocks into the desk. Uh, first, don't give up easy. That, that, that's the, For a relationship to survive, you can't give up easy. You can't turn tail like at the moment of, of, of trouble. Like That's the worst thing you can do because relationships are not just all about the, the, the highs. They're also about the lows. And you can better appreciate the highs when you've gone through the lows. And the more lows you pull through to find highs, the stronger your relationship becomes because you have traveled that distance together. Uh, and you are uh, well within your rights to exit a relationship if it's not working for you, as in uh, maybe uh, you don't find it fulfilling. And I'm careful about this because, again, everyone's got to make different choices, but fulfilling is not the same thing as happiness. I, I, I'm really cautious about the whole movement of be happy, find someone who makes you happy, you know, happiness, happiness, happiness. Here's why. Because you can't always be happy. It's impossible. You, you can't. And when you think that you can always be happy in a relationship, then in those moments that you're sad, you think something's wrong. How is it wrong to feel sad? How is it wrong to feel disappointed? How is it wrong to uh, go through the motions of, of, of a relationship? And you may not be thrilled with what's going on and you've got to resolve problems, but to, to, to be in the mindset of you always have to be happy or that person always has to make you happy, I think is going to set you up for failure. That's my belief. But fulfillment, on the other hand, is way more reasonable from my experience because the relationship may fulfill you in different ways. It may not make you happy. You know, like, oh, I'm so glad this happened. Oh, that really makes me happy. No, that, that relationship may fill a gap that you have in your life. It may provide something that you couldn't get otherwise. That may very well be an alternative perspective. So uh, Diana will very often have a different idea, a different opinion, and sometimes we will come to blows, right? Not physically, right? But we, we will have a difference of opinion. And when that happens, sometimes I'm resistant to uh, not, not understanding, not listening, because I listen to understand, but seeing it that way. So I have no problem disagreeing, because you're going to disagree all the time. You could never agree all the time. Again, it kind of goes, kind of goes back to you can't always be happy. Well, you can't always agree. So disagreements happen. Uh, so uh, turning tail, the first disagreement, you're never going to survive in a relationship. But when you're in those situations, they are potentially forcing you to see a part of yourself that you didn't see otherwise. And I don't mean in a negative way, just like, well, when you're, you're, you're able to see it through different eyes or you're able to, to hear it. And it may be something you reject right away in those moments because you disagree. And you are maybe going to see it that way. And that's the way you lead your life. I mean, and these, I'm talking about big issues, potentially like religious issues, political issues, um, you know, uh, issues that, that matter, right? Not what do you want for dinner or I can't believe that you don't like broccoli. Like those are inconsequential. Uh, but they may very well matter to one person or, or the other. You got to decide where your boundaries are and you also have to know where their boundaries are and respect them. So it's not... It's not important to disagree. It's important to compromise in the moments where you do disagree. Just like I said the other day, when you fight, don't just fight to fight. That's just burning off energy. You're just wasting energy. You may fight. You may disagree. You may be you're feeling very uh, strong about something, but you've got to move towards a resolution. You have to fix the problems. So it, you, you've got to be ready to fix the problems. If the person that you're with is not interested in fixing problems, they just want to vent. If they provide you know no fulfillment to you, uh, or they don't, you know, bring their best to the relationship, uh, then, and, and the best is relative, right? I'm not saying everyone's got to be at the top of their game all the time. That's, that's impossible. What I'm saying is you can only live up to your own expectations. You can't live up to somebody else's expectations. You have to live up to your own. They will expect something from you, right? If you lay down who it is you are, they know the best of you. They should have seen the best of you. And more likely than not, they may have seen the worst of you. And you may have decided that the worst of someone is someone that you can't deal with. That is possible. It, it's, it's entirely reasonable to say you can't do that. That's a deal breaker. Totally understand it. It, it, it transforms everything. 
But you, you've got to understand that working through hardships and working through challenges and working through disagreements and working through problems strengthens the relationship. It doesn't weaken it. You think, wait, how, fighting doesn't weaken the relationship? What do you mean? Because you can work through it together. You're a team. Remember what I said the other day? Uh, if you didn't watch that advice video, you may want to give that a watch right now. Uh, so you know it's time when not, maybe not you've, you've hit a wall. Every relationship inevitably hits a wall, right? If you're no longer in alignment on long-term goals. Not that, they, that everything they do annoys you, because that's going to happen, especially if you live with them. Like, it, you're going to have moments where those things will annoy you, at which point you both have to take time to approach things differently, or at least solve problems or coming up with compromises. If they're not willing to compromise, it's time on anything. I don't mean, there may be some things that they're not willing to compromise on. This is not black and white. This is nuanced. I'm just setting the stage. You're asking me, how do you know when it's time to let go? You know, it's not about you fell out of love with them. I don't believe because I believe a relationship is stronger than love. People put so much emphasis on love and it's a romantic idea and I understand that, but love is different from appreciation. Happiness is different from uh, fulfillment. And, and if you're chasing these lofty ideals that society thrusts upon you and tells you you have to have to have a quote unquote successful relationship, you're setting yourself up for failure. Are you fulfilled? Are you? Are, are, do you feel like you're, you're getting something from this relationship that you couldn't get otherwise? Are, are, are you seeing something that, that the whole is, is greater than the sum of its parts? Then you stay in the relationship. But if you find that it's just death by a thousand cuts, like it's not just this, it's this and this and this and this, and this is my boundary. This is my bound, this is what, this is what I'm saying. That if you cross this line, that's it. Like I can't do it. This is, this is my boundary. And they have to respect that. Everyone's got boundaries. Sometimes, you know, it's an accident and sometimes they may be te testing your boundaries, but if it keeps happening over and over and over again and they're violating your trust over and over and over again, it's like, dude, are you taking this seriously? Are you taking this relationship as seriously as I am? Because I'm committed. How committed are you? And committed doesn't mean we agree on everything. Committed doesn't mean that, that everybody's happy all the time. Committed doesn't mean it's a perfect balance. It just means you are committed to something greater than yourself. And if they're not, it's time to move on. It is not time to move on if you think the grass is greener on the other side. Because I'm sitting here and telling you, it is not. That's not the time to move on. If you see someone you think you're going to be happier with, that's not the time. It's time to move on if that current relationship is not working for you. That's my bottom line. That's where I stand. You can agree or disagree. Oh, look, it's a YouTube comment that disagrees with me. Surprise! Hopefully <laughs> you agree with me. Uh, I appreciate you listening. Uh, as I mentioned before, I, I really appreciate when people in the community ask me for advice. Happy to lay it down on a variety of topics. Love, relationship, love, relationships. Uh, Diana? Oh, I thought I heard her. Maybe it was the 3D printer squeaking because, man, this could have ended really poorly. <laughs> Seriously, I thought I heard Diana around the corner. I'm like, did I say it wrong? <laughs> uh, made it. Nine minutes. Nine minutes, Krusty. Come on. I, I think I did okay. Uh, thank you for following Stendhal. I know that handle. How do I know Stendhal? That handle is so familiar. How do I know that handle? You're a team, but not a team of one. Exactly. Fantastic. Uh, Paxi Prime says that was really good. You should be a motivational speaker. Well, I appreciate all the comments y'all are giving on these videos. Seriously, if you want me, if, if you want to help, I understand your, thank you. I appreciate you listening. When I do it, it's really important that the YouTube channel works. I'm not joking. That's the way this is going to work. Because, like, I can do a Twitch video. I can do a Twitch stream. And y'all are listening here with the community. But 118 people is great. YouTube gets a chance to get to 10,000, 100,000. You know, it, there's, a, there's a force multiplier there that doesn't exist on Twitch. Um, you broke up with Twitch. We go away. I know. I, I knew that handle. I couldn't figure out where. Um, but anyway, please, even if you've watched the video before, thank you for watching it on the new YouTube channel. It's all about advice. It's all about that kind of thing. Uh, so the nice thing is, I feel any of those videos I could do, they stand alone. They're timeless. That's the kind of channel I want to make. I want to make a timeless advice channel, not just something that's just in the moment, right? 
something that has evergreen possibilities in one way, shape, or form. I'm going to try it for a year. That's my goal and see how far it gets. And it's going to be very slow moving up front because I feel I have to find a different audience. Not that you're nothing's wrong with you. It's just that everybody who knows me knows me in a certain light and I have to find the, the people who haven't seen me in that way. And so it's going to take some time and optimization advice that I don't yet have and, and, and direction that I don't yet have. But I'm least laying that groundwork so that we've got something to build upon. Tags and titles, descriptions, the, the video itself. Uh, and, and hopefully at some point I'll, I'll get a hold of a video editor to make it even more punchy, you know, and really start doubling down. So that way what will happen in those moments is a video editor person would make it even, he'd probably cut it down, he or she would cut it down to like four minutes, right, or three minutes. And that video would go into YouTube. And then the longer form videos, either you could watch on Twitch or, you know, jump onto Patreon, you know, or, you know, become a YouTube member. And, and you and you would get the unedited version of all the advice. You see what I'm saying? So like the you would you would like a little bit, but like you want a little more. Here's how you get it, right? You can either become a member and support me that way, or a Patreon, or you know I don't I don't know if I can manage it with Twitch subs. You got to kind of keep it native to platforms. Uh, but yeah, not a different audience and expanded. Audience. Well, I think that's fair, but I, I still believe it needs to be a different audience, not just an expand. I would expand upon the base that's there. I would expand upon the people who have been listening to the advice. But it's a radically different audience. Radically different. Some people just want me to talk about a gadget that I just don't give a flying flip about. And that's not what I'm trying to do. That's not what I'm trying to accomplish. And it, we're never going to see eye to eye on that. Uh, can't you bring in the guys from Dirt Salad again? I don't even... I, Dirt Salad doesn't even... I've never even heard of that before. Maybe I have and I've completely forgotten. Uh, Dark Toy Lord left a comment on the, I assume, the new YouTube video. Give me a second. I've got to edit the video. Checking the comments. Oh, maybe I already responded. Or maybe it was a different one. Sorry, the, the push notification came in. It must have been from an old comment. YouTube Studio is a really bizarre app. It's not great. The YouTube app is not great, though. Uh, you forgot his name now. It was a vegan blog. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, I love. I mean, I give vegan advice as as me like t top tips for being a vegan. I should probably do those kinds of videos, like top tips. My top tips for being a vegan. My top tips for doing this. My top tips for, you know. Maybe I should try that. Maybe I should start brain brainstorming. These are the things that I am qualified to give advice about. Not a health expert. I just I'm an expert in being myself. Haven't skimmed through all the vids. Do I have one on relationship dependency? Could you clarify that, Pooch? Because that might be a good one to flush out. Uh, thank you for following Abula3. Welcome aboard. Cobra Kai renewed for season five. Yes! I can't wait already. Uh, do I go live on YouTube? I don't go live on YouTube. Um, I set up a new YouTube channel specifically for the advice stuff because it needed to be carved out. Uh, it... If I did live video on any channel, it would be after YouTube really kind of cleans up its act, and then I would do it potentially in the the, the vintage, the original Chris Perlo YouTube channel. Uh, but I don't want to take away from the Twitch channel either. Uh, I mean, it may come down to, all right, I'm going to do live YouTube at, you know, um, at 6 p.m., or maybe, at, maybe I'll do it, I'll start a, a video at 5 of the 3, whatever's 3D printing, and then... I'm not going to double broadcast though, oh, or maybe I'll do a half hour live on YouTube and that'll be, and then it'll lead to happy hour on Twitch. I don't know. I would mix it up somewhat, or at least attempt to. Um, are there tofu with flavor? Well, you can flavor tofu. Tofu is whatever flavor you, you bring to it. Diana, uh, I still wanted to try that peri peri sauce. So good. Have a question. Do you find it easy to get in front of camera? You seem to be able to just start recording, get out of your thoughts, seem to struggle getting all my ideas out on camera without screwing up, forgetting things in my mind going blank. Ikafar, you have just created a um, a good uh, a video. I don't know. I treat my, my tip is treat the camera like it's a um, treat the camera like it is a person. That's the way I do it. And I don't see the camera as a, as, as a camera. I see the camera as a person. Because there's a person on the other side, and that's the answer.
Sorry, I was getting something down to Liz. I had a thought. Thanks for the great advice, Michael Hokinson. Thanks for all the support. Because I've known you for years. Uh, sounds easy to say, but hard to do. Not really, Akafar. It is easy to do. You just got to do it. It's, it, it. What's hard is you're keeping yourself from doing it. You just have to reorient your expectations. It's not hard to do. It's difficult for you to do right now because you're not used to it. But the more you get used to it, the easier it is. Some people use cardboard cutout of people behind their camera to focus on. That's another good way because uh, you're treating it like a person. Um, I, I treat it like a voice, like if I'm on a call with somebody, just pretend it's a phone call. That's a, I mean, I just, I contextualize it like that every time. I don't even think about it. It's, it's, it's like second nature to me. It's always been that way. And, and I'm very blessed. I believe it's the same way for Jedi too. She turns on the camera and she, she's like on, trust me. I think she's going to be a creator, whatever her career pursuit happens to be. Um, so thank you everybody for, for hanging out tonight. I guess Amish Ace is, uh, is streaming. So we're going to raid Amish Ace. Is Amish Ace streaming? Or is he not anymore? I don't see him in the, the list. Krusty? He's not there. I, I don't see him. He is not there. Uh, Toying Around is uh, is streaming. I don't think... Have we raided... We haven't raided Toying Around. Um, we're going to raid Toying Around. He's, he's been in the channel before. Came in by way of, of uh, another uh, streamer. Uh, they've got three people watching right now. I don't know. I don't think we've done it. I hope to God they're not doing the whole YouTube thing. The the rebroadcast on you. Okay, good. They're not. I'm like, don't do the whole broadcast here, and then that annoys me. Um, thank you for the stream. No pro. Pooch, I hope to see you here every night. I'm not saying, I mean, you got a life too. I hope to see you regularly. And I mean, I, I recognize your handle for coming in before. Uh, doing this every night, laying down advice, the new YouTube video goes live or public, 3D printing something uh, or another. Let me go ahead and give you the view of what it looks like now before we go. Uh, there it is. We've now got a top. Give it a second to catch up. One moment. Boop. And you'll see the, the foundations of uh, uh of uh, han solo in carbonite uh but thank you uh, gonna gonna hang out with the dark toy lad hey dark toy lord thanks again for your support thank you for being here this is but that said dark toy lord toying around is probably someone you should be following because it's it's about toys so uh gonna go ahead and get my perillo raider emote ready i don't think we've raided this guy yet uh so let's go ahead and raid uh toying around because i love that handle toying around doing a podcast uh, here we go. Going to start that. Awesome. Getting ready to raid. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, although, what happened to the raid? It, the raid was going to happen, and then it seemed to disappear. Um, raid? Raid. Uh, I need to set up different goals, too. You can now see what the print is. Good. Okay, hang on. Does it? Is it? My, I'm. We may be raiding. I don't. Twitch seems to be farting around here. Um. Twing. Around. Start the raid. And I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it stage and go. This doesn't make any sense. Why is it not letting me? Ready to raid in one second. Okay, here we go. I love you, I appreciate you, but at this point I'm going to leave you to your own devices and may the force be with you always. Uh, see you tomorrow night, 6 p.m. If not, I hope you have a happy weekend. See you on the other side. This Han Solo and Carbonite will be complete. Looking for other things to print. If you ever find something, let me know, because I may be interested. You never know. Uh, I will see you at another, at another stream. Other time. I, this, I, what a horrible way to end the video. Okay, we're going to Tuscan Raid in 3, 2, 1. That should have worked. It should have worked, and if it didn't, I'm going to be very upset. There we go. It worked. Woo! There we go. There we go. Raid. 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 Yes. Yes.
Yes. Yes. Yes. Uh, 